this short tutorial will discuss approving or rejecting purchase suggestions within Koha. If your library does allow patrons to submit purchase suggestions, once a purchase suggestion has been created, it will appear on the staff client. Generally, a um, library will have the purchase suggestions appear below your modules. You can see I have dashboard which is customized on my site, but it will be below here. Since we're using the bottom area for something else, we moved our purchase suggestions that need approval up to the top left and we've highlighted it. The great thing about Koha is you can customize things to make it more clear or to move it around within the screen. So if I'm going to click over to Suggestions Pending Approval, I will see that I have five pending suggestions and I can either accept those or reject those or um, and make some general changes. So let's talk about this one. This one came over. I can click the suggestion itself and see some information that the patron put in. So they gave me a title, the copyright date, a reason, and a note as well. So the reason was they read a good review and their note was a graphic novel. At this point, this is just giving me a nice summary. I'm gonna go back to my suggestions. From here, I can easily select this and then mark one of the suggestions either accepted, rejected, we have a status of checked. So if your library has a different system and somebody's checking things and then somebody's accepting those, that's available. So let's go ahead and hit accepted with a reason. Right now, Koha populates a few reasons that you could use if this is helpful. These are authorized value. So you could add and remove reasons if your library felt they would like different ones. So let's do, this is a bestseller. And then I can go ahead and hit submit. This will now take my pending suggestion and move it over to the accepted. And once suggestions are in the accepted portion, they will appear in our acquisition module to go ahead and order it. So we'll talk about that in the next short tutorial.